Hey everybody, this is Peter with BibleMoneyMatters.com and today I'm going to do a quick walkthrough and review of the You Need a Budget 4 mobile app. Uh, this particular version is for Android. Uh, got a demonstration file that I'm working off of here, so this isn't my actual information, but uh, got a couple of different things when you first log into the app. You have your budget, uh, and then you have your accounts. Um, also, if you're out on the go and you've just bought something and you have a re receipt you want to enter, you can also just click on Add Transaction right there, and that'll allow you to enter your receipt. So let's just jump into budgets first of all. You can see I've set up a kind of a sample budget here. Uh, you have your charity and tithing, you have your food, housing and utilities, personal, recreation, transportation, savings, business expense, and so forth. Uh, so basically what you can do is while you're on the go, you just open up your YNAB app, go to the budget tab, and come in here and look. And you can, you can kind of see where you are as far as your budget goes. See if you're over in a certain area like uh, our restaurant category here, or if you uh, have money left over still to spend like in the grocery category here. Uh, you can also set up your favorite categories in here. Uh, I've set up several favorites categories uh, categories that we normally would have problems spending uh, as far as eating out and groceries and his and hers spending and so forth. So basically you can come in here, go to your favorites, and you'll see some of your most spent categories right away right off the bat there. And you can see, okay, I'm, I'm already over in that category this month so I can't spend anymore. So that's your budget. It's just kind of a quick look at all your budget categories and how much money you have in those categories. You also have your accounts area. Your accounts will show all of your accounts that you have that are on budget and your off budget accounts. You can come into here, uh, let's click on this, and you can b see all of your transactions by day that are in your account there. And uh, if you want to look at one of them, you can click on it and it'll show you all the details about that particular transaction. You can change the color on a transaction if you want to. If you want to track it or something along those lines, you can delete the transaction, change it from inflow or outflow of money, and when you're done you can hit save or you can just click back. If you want to add a new transaction, you just click on the plus in the top right there. You type in an amount, choose a payee, and a date, budget category and we'll just say this is groceries make a memo if you want and when you're done you just hit save at the top here and that'll save that transaction you can also click on plus up here to do a new transaction and then you would just choose the account that you're sending it to right down here um, the mobile app for um, Apple products uh, will be having a new, new thing that's geo aware payees. So, say you're at your Target store, it'll use your GPS and see, okay, you're near the Target store, so I think that's where you are, and it'll automatically fill in the payee for you. That'll be pretty cool. This Android version doesn't have that yet, but uh, hopefully it will at some point. Let's go back here. Again, if you want to add a new transaction, you can do that from this screen as well. Just click on that button there type in your amount, payee, account, so forth, and you're done. Hit save. Another thing, you have your settings here. You can set a passcode so that only you can access it. Say you lose your phone, somebody won't be able to get in here unless uh, they enter the passcode. And then down here you can set whether you want to sync this uh, app to the cloud, which is what I do personally. It's so much easier and nicer because you can sync any transactions that you've done uh, that you've entered while you were on the go. They'll automatically sync to your uh, YNAB file so that when you open your desktop app, it'll be right there ready and waiting for you to go. So uh, you can also do the Wi Fi sync version if you prefer, but I'm going to leave it as is doing sync to the cloud. So that's it. You, the, you need a budget for. Android app, a uh, nice little app. Uh, I've, I've actually found it to be very handy right now because it, uh, I'll be at the store or at a restaurant or something and I'll buy something. 
I can just take that receipt, enter it into YNAB, uh, sync it by clicking on the sync thing up here. It will automatically sync or you can just do a, a sync like that. And once you sync it, it's going to be synced to your Dropbox, to your, your YNAB file, and again, it's going to be with your desktop version automatically when you open that up. So. Uh, definitely, if you're using You Need a Budget 4, check out the mobile apps. They're a nice addition and it'll make it a lot more useful for you. Check it out. It's $4.99 on the Android, uh, the Play Store. Um, I believe it's coming to Amazon, or if it isn't already there, it'll be $4.99 there as well. Uh, $4.99 on the iTunes Store as well, and you'll have a few more features right now with the Apple version. So check it out.